Hello and welcome to the EJ Tech Show. I'm Soham and this is the Realme X7 Max 5G, a powerhouse of a device that resides somewhere in the upper mid-range and has some serious hardware inside. In this video, I'll take you through everything it gets and everything it misses. So if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Editor G channel for more tech reviews. The Realme X7 Max sports a part matte texture on the back along with a strip of gloss. The matte texture is a bit reminiscent of the finish on the Realme 8 Pro. The Dare to Leap logo is embedded in the gloss strip and it seems Realme has understood how polarizing the branding was on previous iterations like the X7 Pro. The phone is fairly slim at 8.4mm and surprisingly light at just 179 grams. Considering all the hardware it runs, that's a very handy size. At the back, there's a rectangular camera cutout with a bit of a lip that sticks out. There is some nice attention to detail here with the golden colored power button. Overall though, in this asteroid black color variant, it looks very understated. This color is best for those that don't like very showy or loud designs. Now if you've used the Realme X7 Pro before, then you'll find yourself in familiar territory with the USB Type-C charging, stereo speakers and even an in-display fingerprint scanner. But unlike its predecessor, the X7 Max does not skip out on a 3.5mm jack. It's right here and always a welcome addition. However, the phone doesn't come with expandable storage and you will have to make do with a maximum 256GB of UFS 3.1 storage. The Realme X7 Max has a 6.43-inch Super AMOLED FHD Plus screen with a 120Hz refresh rate. It also gets a 360Hz touch sampling rate, so it pretty much checks all the boxes, at least at this price point. I do wish that the bezels and chin would have been slightly smaller, but it's not a deal breaker. The phone also gets Widevine L1 certification, so streaming high-definition content is no problem. Colors are also quite vibrant and the hole punch is small enough to not be considered a major distraction. Now the X7 Max has a triple rear camera setup with a 64 megapixel primary sensor, an 8 megapixel ultra wide sensor and a 2 megapixel macro lens. The primary camera clicks decent enough pictures but image quality is not the best for this price point. In some pictures, colors look quite oversaturated and in outdoor shots, the HDR can be a bit aggressive. Detail, however, is well preserved and shots are clear for the most part. Ultra wide shots offer extra coverage, but distortion is visible, especially towards the sides of the frame. However, there is a 64 megapixel mode that can be used to get a very detailed shot if you want to zoom in all the way. The rear cameras tend to struggle in low light, which is why the dedicated night mode is appreciated. The night mode does do a decent enough job of reducing noise and grain, but it seems to do it at the cost of brightness, with most images using the night mode looking darker than the ones taken without it. Images with the macro sensor lack color and detail and you really can't get all that close to objects. In fact, I got better results for close-up shots using the 2x digital zoom with the higher resolution main sensor. Videos can be shot at up to 4K at 60fps, but it's worth noting that the X7 Max does not get optical image stabilization. The front camera here is a 16 megapixel sensor and it's somewhat of a mixed bag. In some outdoor situations, it took a clear, sharp picture, while at other times, it took a very soft image with flat colors. Detail in indoor shots is also a bit lacking, but that can be fixed by using the night mode, which boosts sharpness. Portrait images with the front camera are okay, and the edge detection isn't all that accurate in isolating subjects. Videos with the front sensor can be taken at a maximum 1080p at 30 fps. Now, performance is where the real strengths of the Realme X7 Max lie, with a Dimensity 1200 chipset under the hood. Built on the 6 nanometer process, the Dimensity 1200 performs very well and promises the added benefit of 5G connectivity. It also has 12GB on this variant, which makes the entire experience blazing fast. The 120Hz refresh rate and 360Hz touch sampling rate also play a part in making everything feel snappy. Gaming on titles like COD Mobile at very high graphic quality with max refresh rate is a breeze with no drop frames or lags in my experience. The game space feature also helps block incoming notifications and boost performance even more. Day-to-day -day usage is buttery smooth and multitasking is no trouble for this device. 
The X7 Max runs on Android 11 with Realme UI 2.0. There's all the latest Android 11 features here like nearby share, but there's also a bit of preloaded bloatware. The default browser app especially has a habit of sending a whole lot of unwanted notifications, but thankfully those can be disabled. All in all, it's not the cleanest Android 11 experience, but Realme has gotten better with their user interface. There's a 4500mAh battery on the X7 Max and it works quite well, even with the 120Hz high refresh rate turned on at all times. Screen on time was upwards of 6 hours with medium to heavy usage. The best part here is that there's 50W super dark charging that takes the phone from flat to full in almost exactly an hour with 0-50% to taking less than 25 minutes. While the charging speeds are very generous, I wish Realme had opted for 65W fast charging as they did with the X7 Pro. Overall, the Realme X7 Max 5G offers a lot of top-spec hardware at an attractive price point. However, it doesn't offer the best camera phone in the upper mid-range segment, so do keep that in mind if camera performance is super important to you. But if you're looking for great gaming performance, excellent multitasking and good battery life with fast charging, it doesn't get much better than the Realme X7 Max.